All right, let's get to it. We're going to create a crab. Um, I am set on, it appears to be the typography bar, if you wish to match me. Um, and we're going to attempt to create a clip art little crab today. So, uh, again, trying to utilize as many different tools as we can, um, methods and means of cutting and creating shapes and so forth. So, we're going to hop right to it. I'm going to start with the pincher claws. So, I'm going to tear off my shapes menu because I like to do that, as we know. And um, they're kind of made from sort of like half circles. So, I think I'm going to make one of these. And like so and then use a rectangle to chop it in half so um, we're going to use this to cut against the other one so we're going to bring up that Pathfinder palette and we're going to um, select both of these and we're going to um, minus the front and that gives us our little half moon thing so that'll give us one of our pincher parts um, certainly we can go ahead and duplicate this to work on the other side so I'm gonna hold down actually I guess we should probably go ahead and give it a color so we'll go ahead and make that red um, let's give it a three-point stroke here so it looks like so and we'll doll it up a little bit later all right we're gonna hold down alt and copy that and let's go ahead and reflect so right click transform reflect you can preview that first if you wish um, and we're going to pop that in there to be the bottom part of this pincher. Now, um, I would, would hide this part, so I'm going to try to overlap that as best I can, and I'm going to send this to the back so it's behind, kind of like that. Now, I'm also going to take this and just stretch it down a little bit, so I'm going to choose my direct selection arrow, take this anchor point here, just pull it in some, and then uh, pull this handle out and kind of curve it a little bit so it's not 100% perfect because you know what crab's perfect right Hannah Montana says nobody's perfect so alright so there we go kinda got that going on there it doesn't have to be perfect you know something like that is good um, and um, next uh, I'd like to have kind of a little glare area a little white area up here to kind of give us some depth I'm going to use two ovals to create that. I'm going to create it red, but we're going to make it white. So I'm going to, um, oops, that's the wrong thing. I'm going to grab my ellipse tool and create one. Um, I'm going to get rid of the stroke here. And then I'm going to take another one, and we're going to use it to cut that out. So again, we're just going to keep that area there. So we're going to subtract the negative for the front part. So right here, minus front, and that gives us this little piece. We're going to move it in place make it white or something of that nature and um, rotate it and put it up there so that it's kind of like reflected light or whatever and uh, again there's no like perfect way to do it you can do it however you want I'm um, gonna pull the edges in a little bit so it kind of fits in here better all right I think that looks pretty good yeah, so so that looks good. Um, now we can do the other side. So we could certainly just duplicate this whole thing and flip it if you wanted to. Um, but we do still need to do the arm and all of that. So I'm going to hold off on that for just a minute. I'm going to use this one here, um, the rounded rectangle tool, to kind of draw the joint to connect this little pincher to the rest of it. So we'll use this to draw that kind of a shape. Uh, probably we want to stick with the red that we had going on before. Um, remember, I used my color swatch, so I can just click on that there. Um, we'll put a stroke back on here as well. So uh, black stroke uh, three is what we were using earlier. So I guess I should probably be consistent with that. Um, now we'll connect this on here, kind of behind here. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller so it kind of fits. And probably should send it to the back so it's behind there a little bit because it would be connected kind of on the back. So I'm going to right click arrange and send to back. So we've kind of got that going on there. I'm going to rotate it a little more so it's kind of in line a bit better. Um, all right, there we go. That's not too bad. All right, now I'm going to create the little arm. I'm going to use my pen tool. So I'm going to click and hold it and choose just the plain pen. Um, and um, so you're going to start off, we're going to create a curved line, we're going to kind of go up. So I'm going to come down here um, and then get up in this area and just kind of 
There we go. Click and hold and drag to curve. I'm going to come back here and then back down at the bottom, click and hold and drag to create the curve. There. And I'm going to send it to the back so it's no big deal that has a weird pointy part. Um, so I'm going to right click, arrange, send to back. There. All right, so we've kind of got a little arm going on there. And honestly, you guys are probably going to be way better at drawing this stuff than I am. I'm not really that great with a computer, but I do the best I can. All right, so that's going to give us one of our little arms, and I actually think this should be a little smaller, so I'm going to pull that up and make it skinnier a little bit. There we go. Okay, so we could kind of repeat this process or um, just copy it and paste it to the other layer. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to group all of these. So I'm going to just draw a box around them all, right click and group it so it will move as one. I'm going to click on that group um, and then right click it um, and transform that. I'm going to reflect it. Um, usually, well, I guess there's not an option here. I was going to say, oh, here it is, copy. I was going to say, you can make a copy. Um, so, yeah, I didn't copy it first. I just hit on here and I'm going to hit copy. So there we go. Now we've got the other side. Now, I'm one of those weird people that thinks that no two arms should look alike. So I'm actually going to ungroup these and just try to make them look a smidgen different so it's not like, hey, she just copied and pasted that. So, you know, I'm just going to make mine look a little bit different. You can click on a point and modify it a little bit so it's just a little bit skinnier, um, you know, or whatever. But, whoops, probably not that. <laughs> Let's undo that. Um, there we go. All right. So that it's not exactly identical. I don't know why I'm, like, thinking of SpongeBob right now. I know it has nothing to do with this, but for whatever reason. All right. Now um, we're going to do our crab face. And the example I'm kind of looking at sort of reminds me of a football. So again, I think the pen tool will be the easiest option for that. So you're going to click on one side and then come to the other side of the football and click and drag and hold up. And you're just going to kind of make it so that top line is sort of in a football shape. And then we're going to come to the other side. Now this is going to freak out, so don't, don't like freak out on me here. I'm going to click that and hold it and drag. And see, it's not really becoming right, but that's okay. All right, so we let go, and now we have this like messed up deal. But remember, we can click and hold pin to go to convert anchor, and I'm going to convert this point here. There we go. And we'll position that. And you could actually switch back to the white arrow tool once you get it to where it's separated from the other one. All right, so I think that's pretty good. Um, so this is going to end up being my, you know, big face little part. So I'm going to switch back to my black arrow tool because I need to make it just a little bigger so it covers up those arms. All right, yeah, that's good. I'm going to give you some obnoxious eyes, so I'm just going to leave some space. All right, so I think that looks pretty good so far. Um, if we have time, I'll try to pop a mouth on here. Um, the legs are going to be easy because we're going to kind of cheat and just make pointy legs. So let's switch back to the pen tool to create these legs. Um, I'm just going to create them out here in the open space because I'm always nervous to try to create them on top of stuff. So you just click and then click and then click and then however you want the leg to be. So like you can come in and then like give him a thigh, I guess you would say, and then close it up. And then we will put that into position and send it to the back. So arrange, send it back. And so there we've got one little leg. And then I can just alt drag and get another leg. Maybe make it not so big or a little skinnier. Rotate it just a little so it's not exactly like the other one. Um, do it one more time. Again, smaller. Maybe rotate it quite a bit um, on this one. Whoopsie. Wrong thing. There we go. Uh, something like that. Make it a little bit smaller. There we go. All right. And then you're going to kind of repeat the process here. So again, I could just select all of these. I'm going to try to cheat and do this. So I just held down shift and selected all three of these. I'm going to try the transform and reflect making a copy. So here we go. And that worked out beautifully. And now I can drag these puppies over here these crab legs over here, however you want to look at that. And again, you might wish to make just some minor changes so it doesn't look like it's a perfect, you know, mirror image of the other side or whatever. So that takes care of our little crab legs. I don't know if crabs have six or eight legs, so you, like, good science people can correct me on that. All right, let's do some eyeballs. I got my circle up in here. And we're going to do a circle within a circle so that we can kind of get a cool... Uh, outline on the eyes. So these are like, seriously, I told you, it's going to be obnoxious eyes. So I've got the first eye here. 
I'm going to make it white. Um, actually, the outside eye probably needs to be this gray color that I want to do. So I'm going to choose a gray, or you could even do kind of a bluish gray kind of color. And then we'll go over that with a, another one, a white, a white one. So now that I've got that one drawn, I'm going to draw another one. And remember, you can draw from the center if you want, but I'm just going to kind of go over here, and then I'll move it in a minute and reposition it. All right, and then this one will make white all the way up, or you could click on the swatch. Okay, uh, I know it looks weird right now, but um, I'm going to size it out just a little and stick it over on this side. So it's not like an eyelid exactly, it just looks a little bit different. This might be better without a stroke. I think that looks better. Yeah, see that's better, that's a little more cartoonish. All right, so then we need to copy and paste this, so I'm going to select both, click the top part, hold shift, and click the other part. And then, like we just talked about, we can right-click, transform, reflect, and copy to give us the other one that's turned the other way. I guess I could have done the eyeball, too, before I did all that copying, but hey, it's all right. All right, so I'm going to do an eyeball. I'm going to make it black. So we'll go up in here and give him some little eyeballs, or you can make yourself big eyeballs, whichever. I'm going to alt dry. Oh, I didn't hit alt. I hit something else. I don't even know what I hit, but there we go. So here's our little crab's eyes. See, he's cute. I'm liking him. All right, how about some floating eyebrows connected to nothing? I know, I know. It's a good idea. So I'm going to go here and just kind of make some sort of random polygon looking things that will be our little eyebrows. I guess that'd be like trapezoid maybe or something. Uh, again, I'm going to transform, reflect, copy here, and that'll give me the other one. That one didn't really transform so well, did it? Um, well, you know, sometimes things don't work out. I'm going to undo that because that does seem a little bit odd. I'm just copy and paste this here. All right, there we go. I'm going to grab a hold of this with the white arrow and change some of these points so it looks a little different on this side. There we go. There are eyebrows. You can't mess that up. All right, black arrow if you want to rotate. So there we go. Uh, like so. Okay. Because everybody has floating eyebrows, of course. I guess he doesn't have a nose. On my example I'm looking at, there's no sign of a nose. So um, we'll just go on and create some additional stuff. I'm going to create this with no fill this time. So no fill. And I do want a stroke. We need to have an outline. So I'll put it back on. I will put it on three. We're going to draw the mouth. So we'll start here. Click once. And then click and hold and drag to make a curve. Like that. And that's that one. So click on the black arrow to kind of be done with that and click off of it. And then we grab out the pen tool again and we'll do it again. And we'll draw the um, rest of it. So we'll start somewhere here. Click and drag and then, or no, just click. And then come over here somewhere and click and drag to create the little bend. And then we'll come down. We'll make some teeth out of this one. Now they're all weird looking, but that's okay. We'll fix it. All righty. And so on this one, we could go ahead and fill it in with a color if we wanted to and come in here, or I could have used the swatch, whichever. Um, this probably would look better with a converted point, so I'm going to grab a hold of my convert point and fix this over here because this looks weird. There we go. We'll just point that out like so. Um, still not really the greatest angle in the world, so I'm going to click on this one, try to get a hold of that with the, the tools so I can modify my angle a little bit. There we go. That's fine, I suppose. Um, again, you can still use your convert point button if you need to to get your little handles. And then once you get your handles, you can use the handle convert point to move that one on its own. Let's see. All right, so there we go. We got a little mouth on our little crab there. And you could do other things too. I think the example, um, if I kind of go by it, I'll switch this back to where there's no fill, then it kind of comes out and makes a, a long part of the mouth that follows along the same place. It's not perfect, but, and then it does the same thing on the top, so I would close that off and try again off the top. Um, but I don't know if that's going to look all that great. I think that I like it how it is. That's not bad. I would still need to zoom up really close and fix that tooth there, but 
Anyway, uh, that's kind of it. I would add some probably gradients on these legs and call it a day. So there's a crab in Illustrator.